Hi, this is AJ from thepixplorer.com, and in this video, I'm going to give you a quick guide and overview for our free powered WordPress link. Um, it's a free theme that you can find on our website, and it's specifically for blogs. So right here, you can just see our demo, and as you can see, it's just a very basic theme with a grid, and it displays your your blog posts. Um, so let's get right into it. If you log into your dashboard, the main thing you'll want to know for this theme is all your settings are under the WordPress customizer. So you'll go to Appearance, Customize. And this is where you'll be able to change, for example, your main logo and your different options for the grid, etc. So once in the Customizer, right here you'll find some new tabs, and these are added from the theme. General Theme Settings, Typography, Styling, and Image Sizes. Under the General Theme Settings, right here you can see Site Widths, Layout, Responsiveness, Header, Entries, Posts, Footer, Discussion, and Search Results. And these panels have different settings for each of those sections. So under site width, you can actually enter custom width for your for your site. So by default, the site width is 110 or 1,100 pixels. You could actually change that to, for example, 900 pixels. It'll refresh and it'll um, change the default width. And you can also change the container or the content area and the sidebar. So if we go to a post, the content area is this part right here on the left that has your main content, and of course the sidebar is the widget type sidebar on the right. Um, then we got layouts, and under this tab you can choose the different layouts for your different sections of the site. So for example on the home page, by default it's no sidebar, but you could easily add in a right sidebar just by changing it like that. And so now you see the sidebar. So you can do that for your home page, archives, your search, your post, and your pages. Next, we've got responsiveness. This basically just enable and disable responsiveness. We can also change your mobile menu breakpoint. And that's the part at which um, the main menu becomes a mobile menu. So let's say, right, if we're on tablets, you'll see there's a mobile menu like this. So if on desktop you have a lot of links, as you resize your browser, it may run into the logo or get put under the header. So you can use this setting to alter when this menu becomes the mobile toggle menu. Under the header, this is where you'll change your custom logo. So right here you can see I have a, an image logo. If I remove that, it'll show just your default text. So that's where you add your image logo. So you'll just click select image, select it, and then there'll be a button to choose it, and that's it. So now for your entries, um, this part right here is called a featured post, and so if for every category, you'll see the very first post displays um, big like this. And that's just to draw more attention to your latest article. You can actually disable, that, disable it via the checkbox right here. You can also change the default columns. So you can choose between one, two, three, and four columns, as well as the layout mode, fit rows or masonry. You can choose to display custom excerpt, which is the default, or the full post content. Um, change your excerpt length. Disable and enable the thumbnail, as well as embeds. So on this theme, you can actually add videos and audio. For example, this is a video post. By default, it'll show the featured image, but if you check this box here, it'll actually display the video on the homepage or categories. Now for your posts, let's go to a post. You can actually show and hide a lot of settings, so you can hide your thumbnail, the meta, which is the date and um, author category and comment link, your post tags, you can disable the social sharing, you can disable the author box, the next and previous links, the related ar articles, and you can actually change the columns, the layout mode, and how uh, related posts are um, generated, uh, all via these settings. Now for your footer, we got, um, by default, there's an area right here called popular posts, and this is based on um, what posts have the most comments, or if you install the post views counter plugin, It'll be based on how many views a post has. So you can enable and disable that right here. You can also change how many columns you want for your footer. And you can also change the copyright, which is right here, which by default links to um, our website. Then on the discussion, you can enable disable comments for pages and posts. And for your search results, by default, it only displays um, posts. If you uncheck this box, it'll display uh, pages as well. Now under typography, 
there's only a few options. So for your body, you can actually change the the default uh, font. You can choose from various um, Google fonts, for example, PT Sans, and when you select it, the site will refresh and it'll change the font. Um, for example, well, let's just go back. So you can also change it for your headings, and those are the H1s, H2s, H3, H4, H5, H6. So for example, your main post title is an H1. So if you change that, uh, let's say for example, let's do the Playfair display, uh, the site will reload and you can see it changes the font. And it will change it for all the different headings on the site. Now under styling, we got a few options. So under main, you can choose the accent and that's the default blue. So if you just select a different one, again, the site will refresh and you can see your new accent color. Then we got a few options for the header color. You can actually change the background. And then for the menu, we actually can change all the link colors and such uh, right here. The last thing in the customizer you'll notice are the image sizes. So if you go on there, you can see you can change the default image sizes throughout the whole theme. So your featured entry, so the, again, the featured entry is the big entry right here. And for each option, you'll have the ability to select your custom width, height, and crop location. So you'll want to enter a value in pixels. You don't actually have to type in the pixels like that, but if you do, the theme will remove that, so it doesn't matter. So you can change your featured entry image size, your entry size, which are these, um, your single post, so the main image on the post, your related entries, which are down here, and you can also change the cropping for your pages, your page featured image, and the popular post, popular post section at the bottom um, in the footer. So that's pretty much it for the customizer. Now adding posts is just going to be the same as any other WordPress theme. So just go to posts, add new, give your post a, a title, add your content here, and the only main difference between this theme and other ones is for power, you can add a video or an audio. And all you need to do is enter the URL of your O-Embed compatible um, video. So for example, if it's on YouTube, you can just paste the link to your YouTube video right there, or as well as Vimeo. And you can do the same for audio. Uh, for example, if you have an audio on SoundCloud, you can just enter the URL right here, and that'll display on the front end. Once that's done, you can um, add categories, tags, You'll set your main image right here where it says Featured Image. So you just click it, select one, and then you can publish your post.